We've watched multiple movies on how the world could end and how everyone runs for their lives. Everybody get off the deck! Oh, no! Well, to keep the scenario a little specific, how about a flood, a massive one? What would you do? Don't worry, you're going to know all about it today. You're watching the Top 10 World, and today we're going to tell you what if the world's massive dams all broke at the same time. Stay tuned till the end of the video. The South Fork Dam, 14 miles upstream of Johnstown, Pennsylvania, fell catastrophically after several days of heavy rain in May 1889. The 1889 flood that followed killed over 2,200 people and inflicted $17 million in damage. It's still regarded as the worst dam failure in U.S. history. It's no surprise that the Johnstown Flood is still referred to as the Great Flood in the area, an incident that nobody has forgotten to date. The mass destruction of houses, trees, habitats, and loss of human lives has been an unforgettable accident that's unforgettable. Who wants to live downstream of the 125-year-old Molaperiyar Dam, which is located in a seismic zone in India's western Ghats Mountains? During small earthquakes in 1979 and 2011, the 176-foot-high relic of British colonial engineering broke. It may not be able to resist a major earthquake measuring more than 6.5 on the Richter scale, according to a 2009 research by seismic experts at the Indian Institute of Technology. Downriver from the dam, 3 million people live. Their requests for it to be emptied, however, are hampered by a long-running legal battle in the country's Supreme Court between Kerala, the state under threat, and Tamil Nadu, the state upstream that uses the dam for irrigation and hydropower. Another failure in U.S. history is Dam Park, which was built along the Otter Tail River. The relics of the hydroelectric gravity dam erected on the river in 1907 are still visible around the park today. The Fergus Falls City Light Station, a power plant, was in operation for just over a year, giving electricity to the city's people. The dam unexpectedly fell around 4.20 a.m. on September 24, 1909, sending a large wall of water rushing downstream and causing the failure of four additional dams farther down the river. According to reports, the collapse caused a 10-ton generator to fall into the river. Surprisingly, no one was killed in the disaster. An inquiry of the dam's structural fail uncovered a glaring engineering flaw. The station was built on top of a natural spring without realizing it. When the dam was finished, it blocked the spring, causing the water pressure to rise to the point where it burst. The dam's structural integrity was weakened by the break, which washed out the concrete base and eventually caused it to crumble. Following the tragedy, city officials left the damaged structure standing, and its ruins can now be found along the river's recreational water route. Hiking the paths of Broken Down Dam Park now provides an odd contrast with the remnants of the historic calamity set against the natural beauty of the Otter Tail River. Or how about living beneath the British-built Kariba Dam on the Zambezi River in southern Africa, which was completed 62 years ago? It was regarded as Africa's equivalent of the Hoover Dam at the time. Engineers discovered in 2015 that water discharged through the dam's floodgates had gouged a hole in the riverbed more than 260 feet deep, causing fissures and threatening to topple the 420-foot-high concrete barrier that holds back the world's largest artificial lake. There are 3.5 million people downstream, as well as another massive dam, the Cahora Basa in Mozambique, which engineers worry may be flooded if the Kariba fails. Despite the urgency, the $300 million repair project will not be completed until at least 2023. As a result, the world's stock of major dams, defined as those with a height of more than 15 meters, 49 feet, is rapidly depleting. Last year, the World Bank estimated that there are already 19,000 large dams over 50 years old, which the UNU study concludes is the normal lifespan before extensive repairs or removal is required. The oldest dams are in the United Kingdom and Japan, with an average of 106 and 111 years respectively. Dams in the United States have an average lifespan of 65 years. China and India, however, the epicenters of the dam-building obsession in the mid-20th century, aren't far behind, with an average age of their 28,000 big dams at 46 and 42 years respectively. According to the UNU report, by 2050, the majority of humanity will live downstream of huge dams built in the 20th century that are at growing danger of failure. In August of this year, one of Britain's oldest dams came dangerously close to failing. 
After the flood spillway on the 188-year-old Toddbrook Dam, built to supply water to a canal, collapsed in heavy rains, spilling water that began to eat away at the dam itself, raising fears that the structure would collapse and engulf the town. Around 1,500 residents of Whaley Bridge were ordered out of their homes. The spillway at the 50-year-old Oroville Dam in California Sierra Nevada foothills collapsed in 2017. Around 180,000 people were forced to flee their homes as a result of the disaster. The 770-foot dam is the highest in the United States, and it remains vital to the state's water supply after repairs to the spillway. According to dam engineers, the greatest threats in the future decades would most likely come from China and India. Dam disasters in both nations have killed tens of thousands of people in the past. 25,000 people were killed when Machuchu Dam in Gujarat, India disintegrated during a flood in 1979. The Bangkwao Dam in Henan, China had burst four years earlier, releasing a 7-mile-wide, 20-foot-high surge of water downriver at 30 miles per hour. It killed an estimated 26,000 people in the town of Daoencheng, including the entire population. More than 170,000 people died as a result of the hunger and illness that followed. The incident has been dubbed the world's deadliest structural failure. For many years, it was kept a state secret. Earth, masonry, and concrete are the most common materials used to construct dams. Deteriorating concrete, cracking, seepage, hidden fractures in adjacent rocks, or bowing under their own weight can lead them all to fail. Lining failures, earthquakes, sabotage, and being washed away when rivers burst their crests are all possibilities. Inspections should be done on a regular basis, according to Whelan. Climate change, which is causing incredibly severe floods and aging dams, are posing a deadly hazard. However, there is rising worry around the world about a shortage of inspectors capable of analyzing the risk posed by aging dams, resulting in inspection backlogs and hazards that go unnoticed. Following the failure of the Oroville Dam in the United States, an inquiry concluded that previous inspections had failed to detect structural weaknesses. Not everything is observable or measurable, Whelan says. The first thing that would happen is that trillions of gallons of water would rush out of the lake and down the river, creating a massive tsunami. The pulse rates are spiking again. They're huge. Are you serious? Jim? I'm about to have a major quake. What do you think would happen if a dam breaks? And not just any dam, all the dams break at once. A scenario straight from the apocalypse, because all the outcomes that we talked about would be 100 times worse.